Eko de diasikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba too. Hello everyone, welcome to I Speak Yoruba Too. This is a place where you learn to speak real Yoruba with me. My name is Eniola. I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. If you're listening to this, this means that you have chosen to learn Yoruba language. Well done for making the decision to learn the beautiful Yoruba language. Yoruba language is very sweet. Benny, we say Yoruba do in Yoruba and that simply means Yoruba is sweet. Yes, absolutely very sweet. And you will discover that in your course of learning to speak Yoruba. This is the very first lesson off of the Yoruba Essential Knowledge Level 1. This is an absolute beginner lesson, but even if you're at intermediate level or you're an advanced speaker, I hope you would still listen to this lesson and I hope you would enjoy it. Today, you're going to be learning the most important thing that everyone should learn first when learning any language, and that is greetings. Before you learn anything in any language, I think it's just right that you learn to greet the people, isn't it? Yeah, so that's what we will be doing first. In English, you can say hello or hi to greet anyone. Unfortunately though, uh, hello or hi do not exist in Yoruba. If you said hello or hi to a Yoruba person, especially to the older generation, you will come across as very rude because uh, courtesy is something that is really big in Yoruba culture. And Yoruba people will greet to acknowledge you for everything. And I mean literally every single thing. Don't be afraid though. <laughs> We're not going to learn all of the greetings today. We're just going to focus on the most important one that you should know as a beginner. But the question is, how is it done? How do Yoruba people greet? Yoruba people greet according to the time of the day or according to certain things or events happening around them. If you met a person and you want to greet them, first you will need to determine what time of the day it is. Are you in the morning? Did you meet the person in the afternoon or is it in the evening or at night? This information is very important because it's going to help you to determine how to actually greet the person. Yes, that's how it works in Yoruba language. Since Yoruba people greet according to the time of the day, how about we take a quick look about different time of the day in Yoruba? Just the basic ones, okay? So we're going to look at morning, afternoon, evening, and night because those are the most common ones. Morning is aro, ah, aro, that is morning, aro. Afternoon is osan, osan, osan. Evening is irole, irole, irole. And night is ale, ale, ale. Shall we do them one more time? Morning is aro, aro. Afternoon, osan, osan. Evening, irole, irole. And night is ale, ale. Yay! So now we know the basic times of the day in Yoruba. Okay, let's incorporate that too. Greetings. If you met someone and you want to greet them, suppose you met the person in the morning, you would say e caro. E caro. E caro. I do understand that it sounds difficult, but trust me, it gets easier. The more you practice, the better you become. So just try to practice them as many times as you can. So again, Morning is 
e caro. Before we continue though, I would like to draw your attention to something. In Yoruba, there are two manners of communication. Okay, in English, we can look at it as an honorific or a formal way. And also the other one would be a casual way of talking. So what I'm saying in essence is the way you talk to a stranger, someone that is non-familiar to you, you've never met before, or someone that is older than you, the way you talk to them in Yoruba is very different to the way you would talk to, say, your friend or someone younger than you. So please take note of this uh, communication manner. As a beginner, I think it is quite important that you learn a polite form and try to use it as often as you can. In all of my lessons, I'm going to be using this honorific uh, form of communication in Yoruba. Okay, so ekaro is the polite form of saying good morning in Yoruba. The e in the phrase is what shows that you're being polite. That is the polite form of greeting someone older in Yoruba, a caro. Another thing I would like to draw your attention to is that written and spoken Yoruba is ever so slightly different from each other. Uh, what I'm trying to explain is the way we say some words in Yoruba is a bit different from the way they are written. So, for example, we say a caro to greet someone. In a written form, it will be e ku aro. E ku aro. As you already know, the e is showing that you're being polite and the Ku in the word doesn't really have an English translation, but it expresses the action of acknowledgement. So, I acknowledge this morning. Eku aro. So, in Yoruba, we add the word ku to every form of greeting that we want to say. As long as the ku is there, so you are acknowledging a certain thing. E ku aro, I acknowledge this morning. E kui joko, I acknowledge your sitting. The moment you know and understand ku, it will be a lot easier for you to say any form of greeting at all to a Yoruba person. Just remember to put the word e at the beginning of it. Whenever you want to say any type of greeting to a Yoruba person, you just need to add a ku and whatever the greeting in front of it will be and then that is how it works. E ku this, e ku that, e ku aro, e ku ijoko. Don't worry too much about these things, you will learn them as you go. For now, just focus on the simple basic greetings. So now we know how to say good morning, ekaro. In the afternoon, you will say ekason, ekason, that is the e ku plus oson, together makes ekason, ekason, that's how you would greet in the afternoon. And in the evening, you would greet as ekurole, ekurole, Ekurole. At night or sometimes late evening, you would say ekale, ekale, ekale. So now you know how to greet in the morning, afternoon, evening, or at night. Ekaro, ekason, ekurole, ekale. Okay, if someone said these greetings to you, how do you reply? It is very simple. Just repeat exact same words back to them. Ekaro, ekaro. See, you're becoming Yoruba a little, little by little. When you put that O at the end of it, trust me, you're Yoruba now. <laughs> so let's try it again. Ekaro, ekaro. Okay? They say ekaro to you, you reply them ekaro. Ekason, ekason. Ekuro leo. Ekuro leo. Ekaleo, ekaleo. 
Whatever is you've been greeted in, you repeat exact same word back to them. That's it. We've learned how to say simple, basic greetings in Yoruba. I suppose if you're in the Yoruba community now or you're within Yoruba people, you can say simple greetings to them. Try to use this word that you've learned today. Studying hard is very good, but it's absolutely no use if you don't apply what you're learning. So any Yoruba person that comes your way, just say to them, Eka ro, eka son. And trust me, they will reply that. They will be impressed that you're making that effort. Okay, so just throw it at them and you'll get a good result. All right. I hope you enjoy this lesson. This is the end of lesson one. And I hope you uh, learn something new. If you enjoy this lesson, please, please share with everyone so that they also can learn to speak real Yoruba with me. <laughs> and as well, follow me on my social media on Instagram at isyoruba. To. On my Instagram, I do daily quizzes and also post learn a word a day. So please do that. And as well, follow me on my YouTube channel. I speak Yoruba too. On my YouTube channel, I speak pure Yoruba, like no English. <laughs> so this will help your listening skill. Please subscribe and share. <laughs> In lesson two, we are going to learn how to agree or disagree with a statement yes so how do you say yes or no in yoruba and that's it from eniola today thank you so much for learning yoruba with i speak yoruba i'll see you in the next lesson bye